Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. Grab some paper, grab a pen. It is time now for Aging and Style with American Retirement Advisors. Joining us now is President and Owner Joe Vitale. Thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate it. You're welcome. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. How are you? Pretty good, thank you. Well, today we are talking about investing into retirement amid uncertainty. So tell us, should someone invest now or keep their cash, Joe? Great question. We get that a lot, a lot of people, especially with the uncertainty of the elections and still a little uncertainty out there. Um, you know, people say, I don't feel comfortable. I want to move in cash. I want to stay in cash. When should I get in? And I think we found, like just like yesterday, timing the market is so difficult right now. Uh, it's always difficult, first off. I mean, there's not a lot of people who can really, really time the market. Very few can. Uh, and that's the whole thing is, you know, we have some people that want to move to cash. And then, of course, after yesterday, we had a big uptick. And they missed that. Um, some people, after the initial pandemic that came out, they uh, some of them went in the cash position, which, against our guidance, and still regretting that they did that and still don't know when the right time is. So, you know, the best thing is, is, is what we find time over time, year over year, decade over decade, is when you just stay the course and invest properly, have good diversification, make sure you're in the right sectors, and that is how you're going to win the game. You're not going to try to get in and get out, get in and get out. That's it. You're going to miss it. So, yes, I, I'm a big advocate, depending on the situation, of course. Make sure you have enough li liquid cash. Make sure you have a good emergency fund, of course, uh, that you have enough to do whatever you need to do. And then it, it's a good time because we still see a lot of opportunity, especially, um, you know, once, of course, we don't know what's going to happen. Um, you know, yesterday the news of the vaccine right. came out, so the market really reacted uh, positively. And we don't know, but we do know that that we can't keep shut down forever, right? And sooner right. or later, everybody, things are gonna get back to normal. And whenever that new normal does happen and everything is back to normal, you're gonna see growth. And when growth happens, you definitely wanna make sure you're positioned for that. Definitely, that's for sure. Now, how do we know what is best for our risk budget? Uh, for the risk, you, it, it depends on, number one, uh, and a lot of it is one of my clients who said, Joe, if the market go down, I don't want to lose a penny. Well, that tells me you shouldn't be in the market. You have to have the risk tolerance to be able to, to be in the market. You have to understand some of the ups and downs. And it's okay if you don't have that risk tolerance. You don't want to go in. That's okay. There are other options for you. Um, but making sure that you understand that, that, you know, the questions we ask our clients is what if it goes up 10 or 20 or backwards 10 and 20? Can you you know, mentally handle that and stay the course to make sure. So everybody's a little different. Does depend on their time horizon. Uh, depends on their situation as far as retirement is concerned, how they need the funds, how they're going to be using the funds. So everybody's different. We have a proprietary risk assessment that we use um, that we would do for them to let them know um, kind of where they fit in and how we should allocate them. And there is so much uncertainty right now, Joe. Should someone really stay the course with all these changes and uncertainty that we're going through? Yeah, and that's that's the big one. It, it, it was like I can't believe it. No, I got to pull out. And and I've I've talked to so many of our clients. This you know almost almost uh, we're in touch with our clients uh, almost uh, every every month for sure, and uh, almost weekly. Um, and and one of the things that that we always do is is get to gauge them, see how they're doing, how they're feeling. Uh, but we don't want to try to time the market. We don't want to get in and out. And, and a lot of my clients, we had that conversation before the election. You know, they, they're just afraid right. as, all, as, as can be. And, and the, the proper guidance, stay the course. Don't try to time the market. If you, if you just keep your head, you know, mm -hmm. and, and, and if you have, if everything falls in place, if you are set, if you have enough cash on hand, if everything holds true, you can do that. There's no problem to stay in the course, and the history tells us you should stay the course. Um, in the long run, you're going to be better off. Okay, so I know a lot of people are thinking about this right now. Should people worry about taxes and reductions in their 401k? Well, that's that's a good one too, because uh, depending on what happens here, uh, we're gonna have, we could have some tax uh, changes coming, uh, because what we're seeing is 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 we know that the, in the last administration, the current uh, rolled back the taxes to twelve percent and um, capital gains, everything was reduced, corporate taxes, everything. Now that's going to sunset in twenty twenty five, regardless of what happens here. Um, we have a presumptive winner already, but and we already know that. There has been talk about taxes going up, so it's just a matter of when. We know they're going to go up. It's just 
a matter of how soon and how quick. So yeah, one of the things that we're really looking at is making sure with our clients, we're doing Roth conversions, we're taking advantage of the tax situation now because we know they're gonna pay a boatload of taxes down the road regardless uh, because it, it does have to change. Uh, it will change with all the stimulus going on. It's got to be paid for some way. So we, we, we um, are pretty, we hate to see it happen. We really don't want to see the taxes go up. But um, if we can take advantage of it for our clients and make sure that uh, we, all, we all know we're going to pay taxes, right? That's, That's not right. We're <laughs> but at the same token, um, give to Caesar what is Caesar, but why pay <laughs> so much more than we need to? So we really want to be tax efficient. Oh, tax efficient. Definitely want to do that. Now, if someone, I know people are still thinking about this retirement. So if someone wants to retire next year, is that still feasible? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I have a couple of my clients right now that we're getting ready for some retirement parties. And, and that was the big thing when they came to me. They said, I need to make this happen. Can this happen? Um, and, and quite honestly, they were going to put it out another year. And, and um, after we showed them, based on uh, some good safeguard provisions, making sure we have predictable income, that's the biggest thing. If we can solve for income, if we can make sure that the income is predictable, the income can come in. We don't have to worry about changing anything. And um, that is the biggest thing. So yes, it is entirely possible, given the situation, of course. Uh, we, we show the Social Security maximization strategies. We look at uh, different pension maximizations, whether we take the lump sum and convert it. And I, I'm a big fan. I know we've talked about this yeah. a, uh, in the past. I'm a big fan of taking that pension and rolling it over to an IRA and taking yes. control of that. And we have seen so many, so much better options by doing that for our clients and allowing them to retire. So yes, you can still retire next year. I think it's very prudent to have uh, the professional guidance sure. uh, to make sure that everything is in place. And, and that's something we keep revisiting with our clients uh, to make sure they have that peace of mind going into retirement so that you can do that. You can still have a happy retirement. Okay, two takeaways from today. Joe says, stay the course and call Joe. Thank you so that's much, right. Joe, for <laughs> calling in today. We appreciate it. Thanks, Glenn. Take Great. Care. Thank you. You as well. Great information from Joe. If you at home want any more information, just head on over to the Aging and Style page on WNEM.com.